Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of River City Ransom for the Nintendo Entertainment System played on the Wii Virtual Console. Last episode, Tiri had maxed out the last few stats that he wanted to max out, his defense and his strength. So now he's going to take uh, a lot less damage, he's going to be able to uh, more easily break through uh, the uh, enemy's uh, defenses uh, thanks to that strength stat. He doesn't have too many more enemies to defeat. Uh, he defeated the three zombie henchmen, uh, so now he's just got to take out the leader of the zombie, Thor, who's going to be in the back room of the, uh, the third wheel factory here. So, once he does that, he'll be able to uh, go to River City High. That's where uh, Princesses Sarissa and Prin Prin are being held captive. So, uh, the only thing that uh, Terry really needs to do uh, before he takes on... Uh, all the, uh, the goons in, uh, River City High, is he wants to get the, um, Grand Slam technique, and he'll be able to get that in the mall, uh, after this, uh, this, uh, section here. He has the back, uh, section, uh, and then you're gonna be in the mall, but, uh, the Grand Slam technique is the one that allows you to, uh, basically do three swings of the weapon, uh, with each press of the attack button, so, defeating Thor there will, uh, uh, that's the sequence trigger for Ivan, the uh, gate guard, at uh, River City to appear. So here's our good old buddies, uh, Benny and Clyde. Uh, when you fight them here, because they take uh, four, uh, four uh, for uh, Benny there at the bottom, and uh, five for Clyde here at the top, uh, you want to fight them on the right and push them over to the left. Otherwise, you're going to push them off screen, and you won't be able to collect their money, so... And each time we get money, uh, we uh, can, you know, go into the sauna here, so... Yeah, each uh, defeat of uh, Benny and Clyde uh, will allow us to take two saunas. And that'll be really good for maxing out our willpower and our stamina. So... Then we can just uh, beat up Benny and Clyde a little bit more uh, to get the money that we need to uh, buy that Grand Slam technique. We're also going to want to buy uh, a bunch of those uh, Karma Jolts. They're like basically your best uh, healing item. You can get them in the mall uh, next door. So, uh, we won't have a lot of, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of uh, items in our inventory taking up space. So we can buy quite a few uh, Karma Jolts. So, I just did a whole bunch of farming off screen there. I also bought uh, enough Karma Jolts. So, right there, they're $15.25. So I've already bought a whole bunch of them, uh, so I wouldn't have to show you buying them, uh, you know, it would just kind of, you know, waste time, so. But I will show you buying this technique, the Grand Slam technique. We've been trying to save up for this for quite a while now, so. And that will uh, really allow us to uh, deal the, uh, deal a lot of damage, put the hurting on the enemies. So we gotta go into our uh, belongings, and we'll read that book. We'll also see that I kind of filled it all up with Karma Jolts. So, probably won't need that many, but hey, you know, it's uh, better to be safe than sorry, so. And now we have the Grand Slam technique. And like I said, we have the maxed out uh, weapon skill, maxed out strength. So we'll deal a lot of damage with our uh, weaponry, so. And with that, we are ready to take on um, Ivan, the guard at uh, River City High. And I'll show that uh, you can skip some bosses, like you can skip uh, Tex uh, in the uh, in River City uh, High School. Yeah, all you have to do is you have to fight, uh, you have to fight Ivan to get into the gate, you have to defeat uh, uh, Otis, uh, on the first floor, the guy who complains about uh, dirty shoes on his gym floor, uh, to uh, have the game uh, spawn the twins uh, on the uh, final floor, the third floor. And then, of course, you have to defeat the twins to get access to the roof where the evil Simon is. So let's take down Ivan here, the guy with the hard head and his special attack of the headbutt. But his hard head is no match for the power can, the power trash can. There we go. Once we defeat Ivan, we can just 
press up at the gates there. And we are in inside River City High School. Take out our four enemies here, and then we'll uh, be able to... Uh, that'll spawn uh, Otis on the far side. Hmm. That guy's hanging. Ooh, got two enemies approaching from the top. Yeah, drop down on the balance beam. Beat you up from there. We'll be using those balance beams ourselves. Uh, if you didn't see my uh, playthrough with Dutch, uh, that's how you kind of get up uh, onto the section where the enemies uh, jump down from. That's where, if you notice, that's where the, uh, the door is to the next floor. So it's funny though, uh, Otis actually kicked the trash can and it bounced back and hurt him. It gave us an opportunity to pick the trash can back up. So, I'm a little off-center here, but still able to knock him down. Alright, hey, we get to keep our uh, dirty gym sh shoes on. Nice. Otis, uh, one of the characters, oh, still can't make that jump. If you, uh, you can make that jump on, uh, like, speedruns and stuff do it, uh, but sometimes it gets really tricky to kind of jump on that. Your guy gets into that little hopping animation. Alright. Oops, I lost my, uh, lost my can. Dope. Yeah, there's nowhere else to get the can in here, so. Eh, we'll just use the, we'll just grab the whip. Whip is good. So this is a floor where if you fight all the enemies on it, uh, the uh, text will appear, but uh, we can just skip text. We'll just skip the second floor. We'll head up to the third floor where we are greeted by the squids. And once we defeat uh, four of them, well, then the dragon twins are going to appear. We hear the uh, music change to the double dragon theme. So, let's uh, take out the kidnappers, Randy and Andy. And we get hit with the spin kick. That was like the level uh, 7 move in uh, Double Dragon. So, one of your good offensive maneuvers there. Although, uh, like for speedruns and stuff like that, they usually don't get up to level 7. Uh, they just use the elbow and you get at level 5, which is really powerful. And they can cheese enemies with the... The, the elbow, the back elbow. Yeah, the nest port of Double Dragon is actually kind of unique. Uh, you don't start with all your skills. You have to, like, earn them through, like, experience. Well, let's drink a uh, Karma Jolt here just to uh, fill up our, uh, our uh, power, fill up our stamina. So, even though the twins are down, we still have to take on Evil Simon. And we should uh, go into the uh, room over to the right uh, because we can uh, see the princesses. Mm -hmm. Princess Sarissa and Princess Prin Prin. We'll get to see what Princess Prin Prin looks like. Oh, what have they been doing this whole time? They've been hanging out in the cave of cuddles getting petted. Mm hmm. So, Prin Prin is the, uh, the brown one with the, the brown markings. It's supposed to have the, the black markings, so... Well, hey, the other... the internationals again, so... We don't have to fight them. Just trying to clear it out so I can have a clear shot to the uh, to the doorway. I don't want them to, to ambush me and have me drop my whip. Because I want to have a weapon when I take on uh, Simon here. And, uh... Simon? Not much of a problem. So, especially compared to the, uh, the twins. So, yep. And with that, Tiri has uh, saved the princesses, saved uh, River City High, and I guess Crosstown High, you know, the school that he started at. So, there we go. So, just much like his uh, brother Dutch did, he uh, basically saved, uh, saved the world. So, way to go, uh, Tiri. Good job. So, well, that was uh, my playthroughs of uh, River City uh, Ransom. We got to see uh, it done both on the normal difficulty and then on the advanced difficulty. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, different strategies you need to do uh, for the advanced difficulties. Uh, but hopefully I've uh, given you enough uh, tips and tricks to, uh, you know, uh, beat the game yourself if you're 
uh, playing it. So, yeah, it's a pretty pretty fun game. Uh, you know, it's not necessarily my uh, normal style of game, but it was one that, like I said, I played a lot uh, as a kid. Uh, it was really good, uh, you know, because unlike a lot of two-player games at the time, uh, this was one that, you know, uh, you played in tandem with a person. So, a lot of other games that we had uh, that were two-player, you know, uh, Mario Brothers, uh, Duck Hunt, uh, you know, one person, Double Dragon, uh, one person would play, and they would play until, you know, they, uh, you know, lost, you know, uh, were defeated on a level, and then the other person would take over. Uh, so, you know, it was nice to be able to, you know, do a co-op game. It wasn't a sports game, so I wasn't really big into sports games, although a lot of, you know, my brother, you know, played a lot of sports games. Uh, I wasn't really, that wasn't my forte. Uh, eventually, I will maybe do a sports game. I do have bases loaded, and uh, that should be an interesting one. Uh, my brother liked that game uh, growing up. We used to play a thing called Pepper with it, where you can only bunt. Uh, but who knows, maybe that'll be uh, much later. So, got a whole bunch of other games I want to take care of first. So, But I'm going on vacation, so when I get back, though, we will be going back to Final Fantasy 1 uh, with a new group of Light Warriors. Take care. Thanks for following along. Have a great day. Enjoy the holidays, everyone. Bye.